gotten to the point now where you want to kill ourselves? Game. Uh, I know the two of them can take me, but you're going down with me, you hear me? You! A young Christian girl is torn between her love for God and societal pressure. It's only my legs are lost. I've lost to solve not my eyes. Her fiance is paralyzed due to an accident. Yeah, just pose for me nude and I paint you nude. What? The Jackie, wealthy painter offers her a lot of on. money, just what she needs to finance your operation. I might be able to raise the money we need for the operation. She needs a lot of money to finance the operation. That may get her fiance back on his feet. $22,000 or $6,000. But what does she do? She has to pose nude for a portrait. May I remind you you're paying for services rendered, not giving to charity? So please, render the service. Sit your butt down and give me the service. From the stable of Remy Jess production comes the duo of Robert Mekaze and MME Song in Critical Decision. It's intense, it's explosive, it will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. Critical Decision, starring Richard Mofedamijo, Genevieve Energy, Tiffany Okereke, and Mekani. Introducing Michael Ozoronye, produced by Robert Mekeze and M.M. Isson, directed by Lancelot Odoi Maswe, the governor. Marketed nationwide by Remiges Nigeria Limited, also available on VCD. Get your copy now. I'm the king of the world! Are you out of your mind? No! Don't talk to me like that! I just did. Master Stroke, what do you do when your political opponent is a woman? I'm sure we all know the power we possess. Master Stroke, what do you do when the father of your political opponent was a Supreme Court judge who adjudicated your father of a crime 15 years ago. When a child insists on knowing what killed his father and that child hasn't come of age, what killed his father will definitely He only died once, Daddy. And it's definitely going to take more than three brainless gunmen to throw me off my track. Master Stroke, how would you contest in a political terrain full of blackmail, murder, and kidnap? Leave me alone to recreate my destiny. If they want it dirty, they have come to the right shop. From the stable of Remy Jess Productions comes this political blockbuster. Master Stroke, Omotola Jalade Kende. Bob Manuel Udoku, Justice Esiri, Zach Oji, Alex Usifo Umiagbo, Sean George, and Gloria Anozie Young. Master Stroke, produced by Rob Emeka Eze and M.M. Isong, and directed by Lancelot Odua Imasu, the governor. Master Stroke, distributed and marketed nationwide by Remy Jess Nigel Limited, with sales outlet nationwide, also available on VCD and DVD. Master Stroke, politics is a game of numbers. Beware. This is all 
much about emotions The heart Complications Then why Ooh, oh, oh. Maybe it's the game We play This is just insane A shame A shame If you really must know Something called love It's no joke It ain't no joke, baby It's not something you can play with So, so So, so, so Matters of the heart It hurts so bad Don't even try Mommy, I told her that I could do it. But all of them said that I couldn't do it and still abusing me, so I had to kick her. Mommy, she said twice I had to kick this girl away. You did what? You kicked her? Just so you fought in school. Haven't I warned you not to do that? Mommy, I'm sorry. But the girl is very troublesome. She's always picking on me. I had enough to so I had to kick her. Shame on you, Jill. I taught you karate, but I didn't say you should use it to fight anytime someone picked on you. Shut up. You didn't teach me anything. And the one that taught you how to fight, you that comes crying to me anytime someone pushes you. Liar! That's a lie, Mom. Jill is always lying. Tell her to stop. Mommy knows you're a coward, John. You never stand out to people. You always come on to me. Will you stop that, both of you? Sit down. Jill, what's the matter with you? You're turning into a real wildcat. And you're even proud to open your mouth and tell me that you fought in school. Haven't I warned you about such behavior? I'm sorry. Yeah. No. You had better be, young lady. I will not tolerate that kind of behavior from my children. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you. you. Don't mind. John, you will stop hitting your sister. Do you hear me? You will never hit any woman like that again. All right? Your daddy's back. Daddy! Oh! How are you? Good, good. What happened in school today? Nothing much. Oh. What's happening here? Nothing much. Just having <laughs> no, 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 thank you. Carry on. So, how's my little angel? in the house, come downstairs, have my cereal, make my lunch back then, go upstairs and get ready for school. That's bad habit, John. Mom says you should brush before eating. The doctor says brush after eating. It's a lie, it's brush before eating. Brush after hey, eating. Hey, 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 both of you, there's no need to argue. Both of you are right. First thing in the morning, brush before eating, and last thing at night, brush after eating, okay? Now hurry up and run along. The driver is waiting. You are late for school. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day, boy. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. 
Okay. Ice the angel. Your children are a handful. <laughs> ha! Imagine having two more of such. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we think of doing just that? Hmm. Seriously, Emma, let's um, let's have another set of twins. What do you say? Eh, no problem. As long as you're the one that will do the conceiving and the pushing. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I would if I could. You know I would do anything for you, don't you? But. Seriously speaking, let's have some more kids. Not yet, Damien, please. Why? John and Jill are eight years old. What are we waiting for? It's about time we had some more. Sweetie, I think those two are enough. I really don't want to have more, really. Okay? Okay. No problem. Anyhow, I would like you to give it a serious thought. I know. I will do that today. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> School upstairs. And do what? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? Serious and substance. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> look, 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 look who's talking. I know, I know, I know it's, it's flattering, but... Um, you told me you had an important meeting for 7.30. It's quarter to nine. Ah, ah. Okay, I will go then. Okay. Consider it a date for tonight. To do what now? When I come back, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'll see you. All right, darling. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry, ma. I'm so sorry. It's only a foundation. Oh. It's a mistake. Oh my God! Get your filthy hands off me! Clumsy fool! You have an idea how much I bought this blouse? And that alone, seven hundred dollars. Two years of your salary. You can't afford this blouse. Now you ruined it for me. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's only, it's only a foundation. It can be washed out, madam. I know it's only foundation, but a stain is a stain. And I do not associate myself with anything that has got blemish. Don't you know that? Cow? <laughs> Hello. Mother, you're overreacting, you are! And you have the effort to argue with me? How do you expect to be in that please, house? Please, calm down, please. Oh, calm can down. you imagine? Okay, Shelly, get the producer right now. Get the producer immediately. I will not condemn any insolence from any of the staff. This is rubbish! Oh, in fact, from this minute, this interview is over. I'm done with it. Can you please stop? Please calm down. It has already been announced you're going to be your air today. I can't afford to walk out. I can afford to do anything I want. I agree to this interview out of my own free will and I can damn well say no to it. Hello, people. Are we ready to go? Makeup artist, are you true? Candy, are you ready? What is the matter? No, I am not okay. I am really pissed. I'm so, so peeved. Your makeup artist has totally spilt my mood. I, I don't think I can go ahead with this interview. Look at my dress. It's ruined. Please, I'm sorry, but the, the, the dress is still okay. You see, we can't afford to cancel this interview. It has already been scheduled, and your fans out there are waiting. Please, Candy. Please. All right. Just for the sake of my fans, I will go ahead with the interview, but I refuse to work with this man. I want another makeup artist immediately. Um, Candy, uh... 
that won't be possible because he's the only makeup artist we have around here. And it will take us time to get a new one. Are you sure you want me for this interview or not? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Just, just, just sit down and calm down, okay? I, I will get you another makeup artist, but meanwhile, let's finish with your hair, okay? You better. And, and you tired? What's the meaning of all this? Do you know how long it took me to get this lady on set? Oh, tired. You are fired. Leave. Pack your things and go. You are fired. Leave here. Go. I, I'm packing it. I'm packing it. Hello. Okay, okay, hold on. Let it go. No, no, I do not pick up. It's Emma. Oh, okay. Hello, darling. I'm fine. Where are you calling from? Where are you? I'm at the studio at the moment. Oh, good, good. Let's wait for lunch. I'm oh, fine. Just like old times. Alright, darling, I'll talk to you. Bye-bye. Yeah. So, uh, so Candy, I, I'm sure we are ready for this interview. Sorry we can't go to the studio because uh, the air conditioner is not working. But I've arranged a better place for us to do the interview. After then, we play the tapes back to you so that you can watch it. And if you don't like any part of it, we can cut it off. The only area I don't like is the blemish on my bra. favorite program celebrities night out indeed with the don himself steve Vaughn or morube and uh, this week i've got a big fish the big fish indeed the golden girl of the nollywood home video you guess uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it's my pleasure having right here with me on my program candy bassi candy bassi you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Uh, when you came in now, it was um, some fun to see. Pressmen, photographers, people running here and they want to catch a glimpse of the Golden Gate. So what do you have to say to that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? Uh, the press loves me, I guess. And, well, we can't complain. It's the price you have to pay for fame. <laughs> in your film, License for Nonsense, you play the role of uh, the beach daughter of the vice president. And uh, in some quarters has been this uh, talk that uh, Candy didn't actually act. She was actually playing herself, true to time. So, what do you say to that? <laughs> well, at this point in time, I must say uh, they're very wrong. I, I mean, look at me. What, do I look like a bitch? Candice. She can never change. There's always this complaint that when they call your lines and when they see you on the way, you snub them. Oh, no, I don't snub. No. See, I walk all the time. You know how busy we are. And um, 
most of the time I try to explain to them that I, you know I'm busy working but no I love my fans tremendously no I, I, I don't snub them. yeah so now let's talk about let's go deeper let's talk about your love life yes oh no oh no, hold no. on hold on hold on <laughs> who is the man in the life of Kandebasi well when the time comes you will know oh oh that is good that is good now, how did you come into acting? You were just born and uh, suddenly you became a oh superstar. No, I, I wasn't born a star. Um, there was this day I was having lunch with a friend, Yvonne, and um, this man walks up to me and he's like, um, he likes the way I look, that I was a very pretty girl, and he likes my confidence and if I wanted to take part in his movie. And so I auditioned for the role and, you know, out of 110 girls there, you know, I was given the part. And because of my performance in that one movie, he gave me a role in his next film and the next. And it did next, and it did next, and it did next. next. Good. Uh, we go for a break now. When we're back, you get right on with Kandabasi. Good evening, sir. I'll find you you're still around. And I'd like you to look at this letter and then report back to me tomorrow. By the way, what are you still doing? I thought you had gone. I can't go home when my boss is still working. Since when? Since I discovered he's my Mr. Right. And are you still playing these games? Why? Darling, I'm not in control of my emotions anymore. Can't you see that? Look, look, look. You better take control of your emotions because they're definitely going to get you into trouble one of these days. In trouble? With you? Do I take that as a threat? Take it as a last warning. Ada, look, I condone this nonsense from you because you're very good at your job. But I would like our relationship to remain purely professional. You're very beautiful, yes, but I'm not interested in you romantically. How many times do I have to tell you that? Damien, darling, you can learn to be interested in me. Rome was not built in a day. Look, I'm very good at everything I do. And believe me, I'm teaching you. Ada, Ada, stop, stop, stop! What has come over you? Apart from the fact that you're my employee, you're also my wife's very good friend. Meaning that if I wasn't friends with your wife or your work, there'd be a chance for us? Never. I am married and I intend to remain so. I love my wife and kids and nothing, I repeat, nothing will ever come between us. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now lock up and go home. And if this ever repeats itself, believe me, I will give you the sack. I don't care if you're the best public relations manager in the entire world. Yes, we have a good working relationship, but that's where it's going to stop. Work, work, and nothing but work. Have I made myself clear? Perfectly. Um, excuse me, Mr. Kapo. Uh, uh, I want your signature on this document. I'm going out first thing in the morning and I will not be coming to the office. Adorations of T 
Do you know that people practically worship you? And then, what can we do? Comes with a job. Occupational has that I call it. <laughs> I don't envy you at all, believe me. <laughs> it's not that bad, Shra. Could be exciting sometimes. Mm -mm. I could do without such excitement, please. Just give me my old, boring life anytime, any day. She? Sometimes I wish we would trick Casey. Hmm. Liar, liar, candy. Hmm? You know you like to be center of attraction, especially from the male adoration. Beautiful women were meant to be admired by men. So when a man admires me, he's only doing what comes naturally. Mm -hmm. Thanks from the fact that I enjoy it. <laughs> Candy's bossy. Whatever happened to modesty? And that's in my dictionary, honey. Where is Yvonne? Where is Yvonne? She's taking too long. You know your friend Yvonne and her work now. She canceled at the last minute that she had to attend a seminar. Oh no. Why? And I was really looking forward to three of us being together again. Crying out loud, it's been long. Mm -hmm. Ten years. <laughs> Jesus, those good old days when we used to be so inseparable, it's amazing. Yeah, I know they used to call us the three musketeers in school. Right? Troublemakers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just wish we could get together more often and relieve yeah. those good old days. Mm-hmm. But the pressure of your work wouldn't let you, that's the thing. You guys work too much. Work, work, work. You can't blame us, sweetie. Not all of us. We're lucky enough to get married to a millionaire. Meaning what? Meaning we can't afford to sit down at home and be housewives. Uh -uh. We have to go and find ourselves. Candy, 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 I don't like that one. Don't uh, yeah, you? sorry. Uh, can't say, girl, put your legs again. Better be joking. I'm joking. But really, 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 it's plenty. Ah, especially you, your own work is too much now. Mine is not as bad as Yvonne's. At all. That's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. so shamelessly with him. What's wrong with flirting anyways? It's healthy, you should try it sometime. It's healthy. I am married for Christ's sake. Ah, please tell me something I do not know. The better. Yes. What is it called again? Secret lovers or eating the forbidden fruit? God, Candy. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, God. How does Timmy cope with all of this? Hmm. Timmy, darling. Timmy loves me. So he has to deal with it. Candy, you're taking that guy for granted. We could just surprise you one of these days. <laughs> Arnold, surprise me. It's really the only surprises I get from Arnold are gifts. Gifts and more gifts. He's human, Candy. You're being linked with one man after the other in the press. The press. And if I know my friend very well, you're having things with some of them. Don't worry about your friend. It's Arnold. He's my man. He's not going anywhere. September will be married. We will be married. Trust me. I hope so for your sake. Because believe me, that is the best guy I've seen you with. And please, for God's sake, Candy, don't push him into another woman's arms. Okay? Lie, lie. Timmy is too faithful. Lie, lie. He won't try it. Don't be too sure about that, oh. You know men. You don't believe me? Okay. I'll prove it to you. What? Let's push him into the arms of another woman. You did, Chris? What's wrong with you? It's true. If he falls, I give you 100,000. And if he doesn't, you owe me. Candy, what are you saying? Fats, the more I think of it, the more exciting I'm getting. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, it's fun. Please, I want to prove that he loves me, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, wait, 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 wait. If anything unexpected happens, no blame me. With who, Timmy? I trust my man and I will prove him to you. Don't worry. Okay. Now who do we who do we set him up with? It has to be somebody he doesn't know, so he doesn't leak her to us. But Candy, I can't think of anyone that would agree to such a crazy plan. I have the perfect person. Who? Yvonne.
I don't believe I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Have you lost your mind? No, let's just say I am trying to add some excitement into your life, girl. Honey, from the look of things, you really need it. You're very stupid for making that kind of a statement. What is the meaning of that? There's no need to take offense when you know what I'm saying is the truth. <laughs> I mean, Yvonne, right from school days, you've always been a bore. All you've ever known are your books. Books, books, and more books. Right now, I'm giving you an opportunity to taste the other side of life, the good side of life. Don't tell me you're going to say no. <laughs> Candace, if seducing your boyfriend is your idea of a good side of life, then you have definitely gone round the bend. You have a warped sense of humor, you know. Don't make me think this is what the entertainment industry does to people. No, okay, listen. On a more serious note, all right? Think about this offer. Why don't you look at it from the funny and exciting part of it? And besides, you and I know that Tim is a very handsome man. And any woman will give an arm and a leg to go out with him. So I really don't know what your problem now, is. Now, look, this has gone far enough, Candace. We haven't seen each other now for about a year. And then you walk into my house this beautiful afternoon to give me this ridiculous offer. If we were not best of friends, I would have walked you out of my house right this minute, star or no star. Okay? Oh, say something when you get together, aren't we? Oh, and you, Ima. I am so disappointed in you. Come on. How could you? How could you join in in this kind of a plan, huh? I've always known that Candice has enough loose in her head. But I never knew that she transferred this madness over to you two. Come on! Ina, this is immoral. This is unfair. For heaven's sake, this is absolutely unfair. Okay, all right, whatever. That was a theatrics, all right? Eva, we all know you don't have a boyfriend. I'm giving you a lifetime opportunity to feel like a woman. And what are you doing? It's the truth. But no, this kind of opportunity will come over to her again. Candice, why don't you take your stupid opportunity and go right out to hell? Huh? It's, are you asking me out? Me? Come on. The biggest manager has ever had out of your house. Come. Get lost. <laughs> I'll take a joke. Why is she such a <laughs> I told you she won't budge, didn't I? Don't worry, should I agree? What is it? She just needs some fine tuning and I'll do it. Don't worry. She'll be fine. But Candy, I don't understand you. Do you love Timmy at all? More than you can imagine, yes. Then why are you insisting on this game? That's exactly what it is, a game. A dangerous one if you ask me. It's pretty safe to me. I just want to know if Timmy really loves me. If I say I do, it's important to me. And she will help me out. Don't worry. This is all about emotions. It's so hard. All I see is complications. Then why? Maybe it's the game we play. Hi, sweetie girl. Oh, hi. Are we celebrating? Yes, we are. <laughs> More way. <laughs> okay, so what's the occasion? Is it my birthday? It's not. Was it yours? No. Should We're celebrating. No. We're celebrating love. The love you and I have for each other. <laughs> well, it's for the way you look at me. Oh, it's for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. It's even more than I can dream. That's love, baby. What have I done to deserve you? I think I should be asking that question. 
I celebrate every moment we spend together. I thank God for bringing you to my life. There's no me without you, baby. for anyone. Do you realize that time is going? And you're not exactly a spring chicken, you know. So you had better start feeling something for one of these your suitors. And I think you're getting too selective. I know. But you know, it looks like all the interesting guys are married. What do you want me to do? Be a second wife. I am sure that if you looked at these men, you would find at least one who has the qualities you want to be married. Our work was good. I see you have a GC today. Yes. Ada, how are you? You know, I was just telling Ada that she mm. should just try and settle down. I mean, she's being too selective now. She should settle down. What do you mean? I think it's none of our business what Ada does with her life. She's an adult. She knows what she wants. Honey, Ada is my friend. And I'm just being concerned. Emma. Mm. You know, I'm in love with someone. But right now he's not available for me. So why don't you just move on? I can't. Because I believe that one day he'll realize how much I love him. And he'll come back to me. Honey, please get me a glass of water. Okay. What game do you think you're playing in? I don't understand. What are you doing in my house at this time? Emma is my friend. And I stopped by to see her from work. Do you have a problem with that? Look, I don't know what your game is, but believe me, whatever it is, you're headed in the wrong direction. And I'd rather sack you than have you cause confusion in my house. Do you hear me? Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank okay. you. I think I'll go upstairs and change and allow you girls to have a little chat. So, tell me, who is this person that's not responding to my dear friend? Have a nice day. You too. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh. Honey, I forgot. Uh, please prepare something nice. I'm expecting a guest from the US. Which guest? My friend Bill. Bill? Yep. He's coming in today. How come you didn't mention him before? I'm sorry, I... Uh, it completely escaped me. But I might as well tell you, since you'll be spending a little time with us, uh, at least until he's able to gather himself together. He's staying? Um... He's been in the jail in the U.S. for seven years. He just got released and uh, decided to come back home and start life all over again. And he chose you for his starting point? Damien, haven't you heard it is dangerous to harbor criminals? He's not a criminal. He, he, I think he just got led into a deal that backfired and, uh, you know... That was his story. Do you know the real story? 
Honey, he's my friend. We used to be best of friends in school, and then he left for the U.S. and we lost touch. One of these times when I visited, I ran into him, and we exchanged cards and addresses, but I, really, I didn't get in touch with him. Uh, one day, he just called me and said he was in prison and that I should be praying for him. Thereafter, we kept communicating and then lost touch again. And then he called me last month to say that he was being released from jail and that he would like to come back home and, you know, start life all over again. And in your usual manner, you offered to help him. Doesn't he have a family? Why must it be you? Why? <sighs> Honey, like I said, he's, he's my friend. I'm, I'm just trying to help him pick up the pieces of his life. Damien, I don't like this, so I don't like the sound of it. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything more on this issue. Well, as your wife, I'll, I'll do my duty and make him as comfortable as I can. Thank you. Thank Why are you, you. laughing? <laughs> That's one of the things I love about you. Thank you. Your wonderful Thank you. nature. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Prepare something nice. I will. I'll call you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. Oh. Candy, hi, how are you? <laughs> huh. This one that you're calling me. Hey, 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 hello. I hope it is not to continue that rubbish you were talking to me about last week. Look, Candy, I'm, I'm an extremely busy person, okay? And I'm certainly not the best candidate for this sick game you want to play on an innocent man. Look, if you don't have anything more important to tell me, then you should stop calling me, okay? Yeah, you have a wonderful day, bye. What is wrong with you, Candy? What is all this madness? For Christ's sake, why are you hounding my life? Because you're the best candidate for this venture. And how many times am I going to tell you that I'm not interested in this venture of yours? I mean, Candy, don't you even look at someone before you offer them to do something? Do I look like the kind of girl that's going to be interested in this thing you're asking me to do? That is exactly what I'm trying to rectify. Yvonne, you are too serious. Right from school, you've always been antisocial. You need to loosen up a bit. Come on. Look, if you go on like this, I'm sorry, but you're going to end up an old frustrated maid. And how is that supposed to be your business? Well, I'm your friend. <laughs> Look, Candy, right from school, you have been known for your stupid pranks. For God's sake, what are those now, girl? How long is it going to take you to realize that, huh? All right. Be like that, then. At least I tried to be a friend. Nobody will say I didn't try to get you out of your shell and give you a man. <laughs> Candy. And whatever makes you think I couldn't get a man even if I wanted to? <laughs> Where from? The internet. <laughs> Honey, at this rate, the only person you are going to entice is not your professor. <sighs> Greedy. Don't start something you're not going to be able to end. I might surprise you. Then why don't you do that? Surprise me by seducing Timmy and let's see if he falls for you. That's the only surprise I want. I mean, that's the whole idea. It's just the game. Okay. You do. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Good. So what's the bet? A uh, hundred thousand naira each for you and Emma, if he falls. But that isn't going to happen. So at the end of the day, you and Emma will be owing me a hundred thousand naira each. Okay. That's all, right? I mean, so you're not going to have to hand me again, right? 
no, but that isn't all. Um, I have to teach you how to do this thing. <laughs> like we both know you're a novice. <laughs> Come with me. So he's arrived. Uh, who's bringing him? The driver. Don't worry, everything is ready. Okay. Where is it? Yeah. Okay, take his things to the guest room. Jesus! I'm wrong. The one you abandoned in the United States. Yeah. So you're alive. I thought you had died in the blast. You wish. But I'm here in flesh and blood. The evil that you did to me back in the States is now here to live with you. What are you talking about? Don't you dare act like the victim after what you did to me in America. Don't you dare. You couldn't have wanted to find out what happened to me. Told out at the very first sight to God knows where. And now you tell me that you thought that I died in the bomb blast? Is that what you wish for me? You want me to die? The point is you eloped with Alex to San Francisco. You were together when her apartment was bombed. She died in the blast. I thought you died too. But why did you tell me you were alive? I don't want to find you. How I have you? Disappeared at the very first sign of trouble. I thought marriage was for better or for worse. But mine is different. Yeah, mine is different. But I must congratulate to you, baby. You really did very good for yourself. Really good. From Emerald and now to Emma. How convenient. Well, I don't believe you're talking. You have the audacity to talk like this after what you did. Anyway, this, this is not the place nor the time to talk about it, okay? It's my husband's house. I'm, I'm your husband too! So I didn't learn right here and now an explanation from you about this whole thing. I'm your husband too. Okay, fine. All right, we'll, we'll talk. But not here and not now, please. I can't spend this up on Damien now. And my children are too young. You got too? You got kids now. <laughs> Interested, Emerald. This is getting very interesting. My name is Emma, not Emerald. I'm married Emerald, and that's true. I am not your wife anymore. I can recollect giving you divorce way back in the States. Because I got all the papers. All of them. Right here. Stop it. Just stop it, William. I will not let you come in here and destroy a life I've succeeded in building for myself! A life built on a false foundation will always fall. A life of lies, cheating and deceit will always crumble. T tell me something, Emerald. Does this man know about you and I back in the States? Does he? Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you doing? So he doesn't. <laughs> this is getting more and more interesting. You know, like the movies. Just like the movies. I can't wait to see how this movie's gonna end. I really can't wait. Some sleep, man. But it's good to be here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. 
back home. Uh -huh. Sorry I couldn't come to the airport to pick you up. I had a lot to do in the office. But I hope the driver got there on time. Oh yeah, he did. You know, yeah. though I didn't recognize him, but he was able to tell them the one. So okay. we got back in time. Okay. I must say, you look good. After spending time in prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, David, really, you've done so well for yourself. I mean, you got a beautiful place here. Well, I might have built it, but my wife did the interior decoration herself. For real? Mm hmm Say, man, excuse it. I mean, she's got excellent taste, man. I mean, look at this whole place, so exquisite. And your wife is beautiful, too. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, what are we having? Looks like some yam. Hey, you're a soothsayer. <laughs> are you coming to join us? How are you, sir? Okay. Well, here you are. Thank you. Thanks, man. After you. After you. <laughs> Boy. Hey, baby. Candy, where are you coming from? I went for a rehearsal. For which production? What is this? An inquisition? Candy, don't even try to use that tool over me. Where the hell are you coming from at this time? And don't give me that nonsense about rehearsals because you and I know it's a bloody lie! What has come over you, Timmy? I mean, when, since when did you become my guardian angel? I'm your fiancé! I have every right to know your whereabouts, especially when you're not shooting. Oh, well, thank God you said fiancé and not husband. You don't own me yet. You live in this house, so I have every right. Oh, right. okay, so it's about the house now. Are we forgetting that I own a house as well? Fine, if staying here is your problem, I'll just take my things and scrap. Come back here! Daddy! If you move an inch out of this place, consider this relationship over. Is that a threat? No, baby. It's a statement of fact. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry now. I'm sitting down now. Come now. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, no. Hmm? I'll cry you. Yeah. <sighs> Honey. I know you're a star. Yes, I know it. But you must realize you're a woman. And I hate it when you act up, like you're doing now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, but you have to learn to trust me, Timmy. I love you very much and there's no need for you to suspect my every movement. I'm not suspecting your move, I'm not. Oh, my baby, no. I'm not. All I'm saying is, when you're coming home late, 
Nothing stops you from calling me. Just pick up the phone and dial. That's all. Okay, baby. Okay. Okay. So, you know what? From now on, I promise I will call you every 30 minutes. No, no, no! No, no, what do you mean? No, no, don't even start again. What do you mean? 30 minutes for what? Me? What are you doing here? Why are you looking at me like that? Admiring my wife is not a crime, is it? William, stop it! Just stop it! Look, I don't know what your game is, but whatever it is, believe me, it will not work! I got no game plan coming back to Nigeria. All I came here to do was to pick up the pieces of my shattered life. God was kind to me and brought me face to face with my long lost wife. Your wife anymore. Hey, screaming on top of your voice is not going to change the fact that we were married in Dublin. For all the years we lived in the United States of America, I never divorced you, so you're my wife. William, please leave me alone. Why, why don't you find somewhere else to, to move to? Just pack your things and go. How do you expect me to just leave you now that I found you? But for the past eight years, you forgot that, didn't you? If you hadn't seen me now, would you have remembered me? Listen to me, Emerald. For all the years that I was in prison, I never forgot you, baby. I thought of you all the time. The thoughts of you kept me alive. The hope that I'll see you someday sustained me. Otherwise, I would have gone crazy in prison. I just can't You can and you must. William, I will not let you destroy my life once again. You walked out on me in New York, took off with another woman, and left me stranded. Don't you dare! When did we go there? We had an agreement. And you were part of that arrangement. My marrying and it was for your, our convenience. I need a purpose, my dear. Did you have to move in with her? Did you? Oh, yes, I had to. How was I to explain that we are legally married if I don't live with her? What will I tell social security people if they come to her apartment in the night and they don't find me there? I needed the green card, baby. I needed it to make it easy for you and I back in the States. People marry every day for papers, but they do not have to live together. You practically moved in with Alex. Both of you were living together like man and wife for real. And then the next thing I heard, she had died in the blast that hit her house. What was I expected to do? What? You were supposed to find out the truth about what happened in that flat. 
not to run into the arms of the next man that came down the line, which turns out to be my friend. I did not run into anybody's arms. I did not know that the man was your friend. He came to America shortly after the blast. I bumped into him, and one thing led to the other, and, and the rest is, is, is history. Yeah. Yeah, now I know how you really looked for me, my wife. Put yourself in my situation. What would you do? You abandoned me for another woman. I don't even know the kind of marriage that we had. You would just come to me for just one night and then run back to Alex in San Francisco. Then two weeks after the last time I saw you, I heard that you had died. The worst part of it is that you never introduced me to any member of your family. Not in Dublin, not in America, not even in Nigeria. Who was I supposed to go to? Who was I supposed to do? Sit and mourn you forever? Well, um, what are we going to do now? Just go. Just go and, and pretend you never saw me. Just leave. Please. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Emerald. Do you realize that I still love you? Hey, William, why do you want to complicate my life now? Why? But why don't you just let sleeping dogs lie? You just, just go. I'm sorry, Emerald. This dog is wide awake, and nothing is going to make it fall asleep. Nothing. So you go think about it all day. Nothing. What are you going to do now? Candy, believe me, I don't know. I just don't know. But let me even ask you, which of these men do you like? Candy, of course I love my husband. Your husband? Yes. Okay. Which one? Candy, are you mad? This is not a joke now. What's this? I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I mean, they're both your husband, whether you like it William or not. William is no longer my husband. And I think the law states that if you've been separated for over five years, the marriage is automatically annulled. Agreed, but <laughs> you guys were not separated by choice. He was in jail. You know what, I, I think I wasted my time coming here to talk to you about this. Because you're not helping me at all, Candy. You're not helping me. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know what. You want me to tell you that William is no longer your husband? I can't do that. I'm not an expert in these things. You need to talk to a lawyer. Oh, Blue, if you ask me, you should tell Damien about it. What? Yes, I'm, I'm sure both of you can work out something together. Candy, how can you even suggest that? He's going to ask me why I didn't tell him I was married before. Ha! Why didn't you even tell him you were married before? Because I did not think it was necessary. I thought Bill was dead and there was no point mentioning it anyway. <laughs> okay, well as you can see, nothing is hidden under the sun. Don't believe me, Jare. Is it everything that you tell Timmy? Look, if you don't want to help me, don't help me. I'll sort it out myself somehow. It, it's not like I don't want to help you, but I really don't. Okay, anyways, I, I trust you. You will take care of this. You're a strong woman. Mm. Uh, let's change the topic to something more lively. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the D-Day. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And we have it all planned out. Hmm. Hundred thousand. Mm. This is not about fire. I'm serious. Fire to win. Mm. <laughs> oh, trust me. Emotions, the heart. All I see is 
complications Then why? This is just insane, a shame, a shame, if you really must know. That's it, so you go ahead and do the rest, okay? Uncle Bill, are you still going to play football with me when I finish my homework? Sure, I promised you, didn't I? I don't go back on my words. Cool! I'm almost done. Make sure you get the answers correct, otherwise no football today. I'll get them right, Uncle. I'm an intelligent boy. No, you're not. I am! You're not! Stop that, both of you! Mommy! I can know you're back. Yes, I am back. And I don't want any shy shouting or fighting today, okay? Yes, Mom. Welcome, Mommy. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine. Why don't you take your homework upstairs and then do your take your siesta after that? But Mommy, Uncle Bill is going to play football with me when I finish my homework. After your siesta. But Mommy. John, go upstairs now. What did you say, John? I said I love you, Mommy. I love you too, John. William, I will not have it. I don't want you near my children. I will not let you come into my house and take over or turn everything upside down. Hey, what's the matter with you? I was only trying to help the kids with their homework, that's all. Why are you upset with me? Stay away from me and stay away from my children or you will not like the consequences. Good actress! Where are you? I've been here for two hours now. No. What do you mean you're in the meeting? <sighs> Give me one reason why I shouldn't be angry, huh? Listen, this is the third time you're doing this. Contrary, I'm the one that can help you with something. Something like what? Huh. I um, overheard you arguing on the phone. Obviously, someone just disappointed you. Well, I could replace her. Didn't your mother tell you listening to other people's conversation was bad manners? Well, and she also taught me to help people when I find them distressed. And obviously, you're distressed right now. If you're looking for someone to pay for your drink, no problem. Just call the waiter and I'll do just that. 
get yourself out of my table, please. Look at you. Yvonne, that was not the deal. I mean, you barely started the game and you're backing out. What are you, a coward? Look, you can call me anything you want, okay? I mean, think about the embarrassment your boyfriend is meting on me. Me! Okay, you win. Your boyfriend does not have eyes for any other woman. You win. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't conclude that on just one try. We need to test him again. What is wrong with you, Candace? Are you possessed or something? Why are you so obsessed about this game anyway? Listen, I am going to be marrying this man. And I really need to know if he truly, truly loves me. Please. Love? Candace, a man might love you and still cheat on you. It is in their nature to cheat. Men cheat all the time. This game is not going to prove that to you. Why don't you stop when you still can? Well, that's just I, what I think, actually. You know what? I think the problem is with you. You're scared you might fall in love in the process, aren't you? Candice, now I know you are truly sick. And you need a doctor, believe me. I, I could uh, recommend one. Yvonne, I am not sick, all right? I'm only excited. This is so much fun. I don't know why you're being a wet blanket. Come on, cheer up. Let's do this. Fun. Don't play games with people's hearts, Candice. It is not right. So you are afraid of falling in love? Don't be ridiculous. Then go ahead with the game to prove you are not scared. You're not scared? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will go ahead. Good, now we're talking. So, let's go ahead with plan B. Now, how do I put you guys together again? I can see he's... Okay, this on the side isn't working. Let's Do you know there's something called love? It's no joke. It ain't no joke, babe. It's not something you can pay with. So, so. So, so, so. It matters of your heart. It hurts so bad. Don't eat. I'll pay. Excuse me? I said I'll pay. Thanks, but no thanks. Don't mess with me. I said no thanks. Hey, what was that about? Um, well... Aren't you the same lady I met at the restaurant last week? Yeah. <laughs> you have good memory. That's true. What is the problem? Or are you just naturally a nuisance? Well, none of the above. I mean, on the contrary, I... I like you. That's all. In other words, you're chasing after me? Well, not exactly. <laughs> but would I be bad? I mean, come on. Don't you find me attractive? On the contrary, I find you very attractive. But I think it's in bad taste for a woman to be chasing after a man so blatantly. Well, um... <laughs> Look, obviously you're from the old school. I mean... This is 2004. 
AD and not 2000 before Christ. I mean, so you need to listen up, man. Things have changed. And I refuse to change with it. You see, I am old school. I believe in a man chasing after a woman, not the other way around. Besides, I'm engaged and about to be married. So sorry, darling. This door is shut. Try the next door. This is all about emotions. The heart. All I see is complications. Then why? This is just insane, a shame, a shame. If you really must know, I am flesh and I am blood. I am blood. Me, don't toy with me. I'm only human. I can tumble. I can fall. That's my girl. I can see you're warming your way into the game already. No, not exactly. But at least we spoke for five minutes today. See, it's fun, I told you. Now, isn't that something? Um, no, he's still not interested. In fact, he said he's engaged to be married soon. And I guess he's talking about you. I know. <laughs> Anyway, just keep me posted on reports, on um, your progress and every other thing. Meanwhile, I'll let you know tomorrow where he'll be to lock him up, right? What? You think I can't lure him to bed? No, no. I am eager to know who would win this bet. I have to prove my point, you guys. Hmm. I see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> all right, all right. No problem, girl. Well, you better start getting your hundred grand ready. Okay. Because right now, the game is just about to begin. <laughs> Good luck, you'll need it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you soon, all right? All right, take care of yourself, Candy. Bye. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hi, girl. How was your day? Cool. And yours? So so. I didn't go anywhere though. I mm. just stayed home. Cleaned the house, did your laundry, mm -hmm. cooked your favorite meal. Oh yeah? Coconut rice? Yep, you bet. Oh, oh that's my girl. <laughs> I knew you'd like mm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you're beginning to practice on how to become a good housewife. I am practicing to become your wife. Not a housewife. You know I won't stop working, don't you? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Provided you are Mrs. Candice, Temisan, or Moife. You bear my children, and you've been there for me. I'm cool. If I'm doing all that, when do I get to work? Okay, we'll say... We'll cross that bridge and we'll get there. Oh no, oh no, let's cross it right now. It's not when I get married to you tomorrow now, you say I should stop acting. And you know I won't, because I love what I do. It's, it's the truth. Don't worry. So why don't we go and demolish the coconut rice? And then? Afterwards, we demolish some other things. That way you can There's nothing else to do for help, baby.
Ask him to leave. Look, there's just something about him that I can't put my finger on. I just don't trust him. Emma, you're prejudiced. Just because the guy got out of jail, you think he's a criminal? But he's a criminal to have spent seven years in jail. Hey, Damien, we have children in this house. I don't want them to be corrupted by an ex-convict. Oh. Emma, you're taking this too far. The guy has explained that he was wrongly accused of murdering his wife. Apparently, his Italian-American wife got mixed up with a wrong mob and she was killed. But that is his version of the story. Do you know if it's true? The courts apologized to him when they found evidence that the wife got killed by the mob she was running around with. The leader of the mob got arrested and Bill's name was cleared and he was released from jail. Honey, he needs all the love he can get now. Let's not be hostile to him. Damien, I don't like this. So. But I'll try. I'll do my best. I'll try.
Sorry! Sorry! You could have caused an accident there! I'm sorry. This is a calculated attempt to get my attention. And you know something, lady? You have my full attention now! What exactly do you want from me? Have lunch with me. Good! Where do you want to go? Drive behind me and I'll take you where I want to go. My treat or yours? My treat, of course. Fine. 